Okay guys, let's look at a power machine and five. Yeah. So this one is a compressor. So if we are compressing the volume number one, yeah. for compressing volume, a volume which is a volume number one, we're going to compress this volume into volume number two, volume number three, and then volume number four. So this graph, it all uh, explain uh, how the compression uh, and the, the expansion is uh, how does we do uh, the expansion and the compression in uh, uh, the power in the compressor yeah. so from a point one we compress to point two so it depends on this side is a compression yeah. compression okay so this side is a compression and then it depends what these are uh, uh, we compressing depend the law maybe is the, the aliphatic law which is constant or is uh, the uh, okay is the aliphatic law this one is polytropic law the aliphatic law or is a uh, constant uh, it's an isothermal process so it's uh, uh, then you're going to in the, uh, the equation it's going to specify between this uh, uh, if uh, they say it is compressed under a law of maybe it's a polytropic law or it's a, a, a either particular law then it compresses from pressure one to uh, from volume one to volume number two so then if we are compression from volume number two to volume number three the from volume number two to volume number three the pressure is a constant if you check from volume one from volume number two to volume number three the pressure is constant and then uh, we expand it from volume number three to volume number four if we are expanding from volume number three to volume number four then uh, this side is expansion this uh, line is expansion expansion then even here is going to depend if they use the law of a, a cv or P uh, V R or P V is equal to constant. Now it, it depends in uh, the equation. Now so if they say the compression from volume one to volume number two is using maybe the is the under uh, the polytropic law, then uh, the compression uh, from uh, volume three to volume number four, we are going to say that maybe still is a polytropic law. And then, uh, if you're going down here, we're going to see OS. We have a clearance volume. So, if we're talking about a clearance volume, we're talking about uh, the distance from the zero uh, point to uh, point number or to number to volume number three, which is at this point. Now. This one is volume number three. So, therefore, the, our clearance volume, clearance volume is equals to volume number three now yeah. okay and then uh, we have a swept volume so if you can check a uh, swept volume is from volume number three to volume number one now yeah. so therefore if you calculate a swept volume uh, a swept volume is equals to volume one minus volume number three so if if you can see uh, if you can check from the point of zero point uh, v1 is the, is the volume uh, which is a volume number one so if you want to calculate the set volume as a volume one minus the clearance volume which is a volume number three and then uh, we have an effective volume an effective volume is uh, from volume number three to volume number volume number four to volume number five so this one is going to be our effective volume so an effective volume is a question which is a volume v1 minus v4 which is a effective volume let me say it's an so effective volume now and then uh, to complete the effective volume uh, uh to say the v1 is a minus v4 is a question uh, is equal to the volume that the compressor will deliver per minute or per hour it depends they say the volume delivered delivered divided by 
the number of a circle the number of circle that means it depends if it, the compressor is a double acting a compressor that means the number of seconds is a two if it's a uh, it's a single acting compressor that means going to multiply by one multiplied by the speed uh, the speed of the compressor so this is uh, the speed of the compressor which is uh, uh, in radians per minute so if you're going to have the volume delivered per uh, per minute even the speed of the compressor this one is measured in radians per minute okay then uh, we can get the effective volume so um, therefore if we can get uh, the uh, the clearance volume is equal to volume number three Except volume is volume one minus volume three, the uh, the effective volume, which is uh, volume one minus volume two, is the uh, effective volume, and the effective volume is equal to the volume delivered by the compressor divided by the number of cycles, uh, the number of cycles uh, of the compressor multiplied by the speed of the compressor. The speed of the compressor is measured in radians per minute and then we have the formula to calculate power power uh, power is equal to work done over time we know that the power is equal to work done over time and then uh, if we're going to calculate work done or oh, okay so you can power will be equal to uh, n over n minus 1 multiplied by volume 1 multiplied by volume number one this volume is per second so if we're going to change it this formula is a uh, work done but if we divide it by this volume is uh, per second then into uh, pressure pressure one over pressure two to the power n minus one divided by n minus one then this formula we used to calculate the the power the power of the um, the power of the compressor so the power of the compressor is equal to uh, the index divided by the index minus one multiplied by pressure one multiplied by volume one per second if this volume one is given in per minute that means here we're going to divide it by 60 to convert to that minutes to second and then it's pressure one divided by pressure number two and then uh the compressor it always has a uh, compressor it always has the formula of uh okay the formula to calculate for the volume number one okay sorry here is a uh, pressure volume number two divided by volume one no. volume number two or oh, pressure number two divided by pressure number one so these are the formula to calculate the uh, uh to calculate the work done and then uh always here go uh, if we're given the diameter and the stroke length of the pump that means it when you calculate the swept volume will be equal to pi d squared over 4 multiplied by L. That means uh, if we are given the diameter of the pump of the compressor and the stroke length of the compressor, therefore the swept volume is equal to pi uh, uh, d, which is the diameter, then square the diameter divided by 4 multiplied by the stroke length of the compressor okay so tune up uh, to my next video guys uh, we're going to deal with uh, an example you know? and we're going to do uh, three examples from the question paper how to deal with a compressor thank you